Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3 Now. My name is Jack, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at the AlphaWise C10. So, hopping right into the video, I want to give a big thanks to GearBest again for making this video possible and sending me the AlphaWise C10 for a review. And as you probably know, this channel is a 3D printing channel, but this is not a 3D printer. The C10 is actually a CNC engraver and a laser engraver machine. So it is very similar to a 3D printer with the three axes, but it has a laser engraver and a CNC. So as 3D printers are an additive process, this is actually a subtractive process. It takes material out instead of putting material in. So the C10 is really cool because it comes with a, a motor. It's actually a 775 motor and a two and a half watt laser. So both of them are really powerful for the size of this machine. And so I put the whole thing together on a live stream, of course, but did not come with paper instructions. Came with the with the video and instructions on a little CD, but I didn't have anything that read a CD. It's 2019. So I found a video on YouTube and I followed that all the way through and I did build a machine. It's actually a lot simpler than it looks. It took about two hours to complete. And the machine is actually pretty sturdy and it's pretty simple to build. It's made of extruded aluminum frame, just like normal 3D printers. It uses a bunch of linear bearings and rods, and all three axes are lead screws and lead nuts, so no belts at all. And the available space to use when, when carving or laser engraving is 30 centimeters by 18 centimeters by 4 centimeters. And the motherboard on this is a custom PCB with a little Arduino clone in it. It's like an Arduino Nano clone, and the whole thing runs on 24 volts. And the Alpha Y C10 also comes with a bunch of accessories, which is awesome. It comes with a bunch of bits for the spindle. They're actually like a V-shaped, so they're not actual like drill bits, but they're for an engraving. And the motor is actually clamped into the whole X carriage, so you can unscrew it and switch the motor out for the laser and, and vice versa. And you plug them into two separate spots on the motherboard. And this machine can engrave wood or plastic or PCBs with the motor part. So it can only engrave softer materials, not hard stuff like metals, unfortunately. So the laser can engrave and carve wood too, which is really cool. And the materials are attached to the bed with metal bolts and washers. They actually didn't work very well for me, so I actually just taped my piece of material down. And with the hardware, you have to use some sort of software to control it. So on the small CD, there is software, but again, I didn't have anything to read that. So I found online on the Banggood website, actually. Banggood also have has this has a very similar version of the Alpha Y C10, and they had a link to their software online, which I downloaded from there. And they, and they had two different programs for both the laser and the CNC machine. So laser used a piece of software called Laser GRBL, and the CNC used just a regular GRBL software. But they're actually different because the laser, you can just import a picture and then it takes that picture and turns it into lines that the software can read and, and draws those lines out with different power settings on, on the laser so the image comes out. But on the CNC machine, it actually needs a G-code file. So you need to use some sort of software that creates G-code files for CNC machines. So the easiest one that I used was by Inventables and it was called Easel. And it's a really simple free online software that you can use to create G code files for your CNC machine and also works with the Alpha Y C10. So there is no SD card slot on this, which is a shame, or LCD screen. So you have to plug it into your computer via a USB, and that controls the printer from there. So you can move the axes, calibrate things, set the home position, things like that from the computer in the software. So I first started with the wood engraving just to see how it would go and I used the online software Easel to find pictures and text to create the G-code with. So Easel is really simple to use. You just click to upload a file or click to pick an image from the library or click to add text. It's really easy and you can move it around, drag it around, pick different fonts, things like that. And then actually has a live view of what your block of wood or material is going to look like with your design engraved on it. So of course you do have to import into easel all the specs of your CNC machine. So like the bit size, the block of wood size, the depth of the CNC machine, things like that. Once all that's done, you can export the file as a G code directly from the website and then import that into the GRBL software, which controls the Alpha Y C10. So I used wood because it was just the material that I had around in my house. I put that on the bed, 
taped it down so it, so it would not move, and then I clicked start on the software, and I began right away carving out of that piece of wood the model that I created. And there is a lot of wood shavings, so maybe you want to blow it off or use a little brush to brush off the carving so you can see what's going on. But I do recommend carving pretty slowly because the quality will come out a lot better. Also on the software, you can watch the live toolpath on the, on the computer so you can see exactly where the head is moving on the model. When the engraving is done, you can use an air gun or a brush like I did and brush away all the wood dust and then it'll reveal your carving. And I was actually really surprised with how well it turned out. I did not do any calibration or things like that. I just, I just started the print right away and it actually turned out really, really good. All the lines were actually really clean and really precise with the V-shaped bit and then engraved them with the Alpha Y C10 and they all turned out really, really good. All the lines were really sharp and precise. So after that, I switched out the motor for the laser engraver. And again, it's really easy. You just unscrew one little bolt. It's a C-clamp and then you can pull out the motor, take out the wire from the motherboard, put in the laser engraver and put back in the wire into the back of the motherboard. And that's all you have to do to switch out to the laser engraver. And for the laser engraver, I moved outside because there's a lot of smoke that comes out on a piece of wood. And so the first thing I noticed when engraving with laser is that it needs to be focused. So because it's a laser, that beam needs to be focused exactly on the piece of wood. So it depends on the height or the thickness of that piece of wood to get the beam focused correctly on the surface of the material. So also I put on my laser glasses, which it came with. They're these green glasses that protects your eyes from looking right at the laser and started an engraving, which I used a laser GRBL software and then imported an image, which at first I tried engraving a model of New York City, but that just did not turn out very well. It was, it was really, really dark and the, and the laser actually burnt really deep into the wood. So I tried to engrave something else, which of course was my 3D Now logo. And that actually turned out pretty good. There was a lot of smoke coming off of this while it was engraving. But overall, the laser did seem pretty hard to get working accurately. This is my first time using a laser engraver. So the two images I tried to engrave that were my logo turned out pretty decent, but the much more co complex New York City came out not very good. You pretty much could not see anything. It's just a big black mark on the wood. But you can probably tune it and calibrate some parts of this and adjust the power of the laser to get it to engrave much, much better. So wrapping the video up, this is a, an awesome little machine. It's a two in one. So you have a CNC machine and a laser engraver all in one. It's a great little package for a really nice price. Right now on gearbest.com, it's $236 for the package with the two, the CNC machine and the laser engraver. So it's a fun little machine to have at your house to play around with, make some toys, make some little projects, things like that. But I wouldn't be expecting to use this for big projects or things that have to be super precise and look absolutely perfect. So of course, the link for this machine is gonna be in the description below. Thanks again for GearBest for sending this machine out to me for a review. So thanks again for watching guys, if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this, comment down below if you have any questions, comments or concerns, and I will see you guys in the next video.